Good evening friends. Today we will discuss about one more name reaction that is called Diels Alder reaction. Diels Alder reaction. This is somewhat similar to Michael addition reaction because both are one four addition reactions. So it is an example of one four addition reaction. In this reaction, a cyclic product is formed. Hence, it is also called cyclic addition reaction or cyclo addition reaction. Cyclo addition reaction. So, what are the product formed in this particular reaction is also called addict. Addict product formed in addition reaction is called product formed in addition reaction is called addict okay so what is this reaction actually means it is a reaction between conjugated diens conjugated diens and alkenes or substituted alkenes substituted alkenes in this reaction, cycloalkenes are formed. Okay, so what is this other reaction? It is a cycloaddition reaction in which conjugated ions react with alkenes, the substituted alkenes, to form cycloalkene. In this particular reaction, a cyclic product is formed, hence it is called cycloaddition reaction. What is the mechanism in this particular reaction? It is an example for addition reaction, hence it is called cycloaddition reaction. So, in this particular case, addition generally takes place at first carbon and fourth carbon of conjugated diene. Hence, these are called 1,4 addition reactions. The same reaction mechanism we have already seen in the one more rea name reaction called Michael addition reaction. Okay, <clears throat> before going to see the mechanism, let us have a look at the overall reaction of this particular cyclo, I mean, Diels Alder reaction. See, here we have to take conjugated diene. Conjugated dienes means these are the <coughs> dienes containing two double bonds separated by one particular carbon. Okay, so it is called conjugated diene. It is a conjugated diene. Due to presence of more number of pi electrons, it has rich of pi electron cloud. Hence, it acts as a nucleophile. Okay, so that's why it readily react with some electrophile generating species like alkenes. These have a tendency to generate electrophile. Okay, see in this particular what may be happen means see in the stabilization of conjugated dienes it has a tendency to form its respective resonance form. What is that? It is one of the resonance stabilized canonical or isomer or resonance canonical structure of conjugated diene. This conjugated diene when combined with The alkene, it reacts with the conjugated diene, the isomeric form or the resonance hybrid structure of the conjugated diene reacts with this alkene to form the addition product in which case means these pi bonded electrons are shifted to the first carbon atom according to the nearby ionic charges of conjugated dienes. In this particular case, you can 
predict the mechanism of this particular reaction. So, the product form in this particular reaction is So, whenever it forms a positive charge, it may a bond with the adjacent carbon, it may a bond with this adjacent carbon. This is the product form in this particular cycloaddition reaction or diehl solder reaction. This is the overall reaction of this particular cycle, I mean diehl solder reaction, overall reaction at least. Okay, what is this? Conjugated diene. What about this one? <clears throat> this particular molecule that is alkene readily loves or uh, it readily accepts the dieno diene compound. Hence, it is called dienophile. This alkene is also called diene. Enophile. Dienophile means felicity is nothing but loving. It loves the dying. It loves the dying. Why should it love? Dying have dying has two particular charges in its resonance stabilized form. Thereby it can readily undergo addition reaction with the conjugated dying. Okay, so this is called this is the product formed in addition reaction hence it is called addict so it is a cyclic product hence it is called cyclo addict okay so how many member ring it is one two three four five six six member ring hence it is called cyclo hex one pi bond is there hence it is called Cyclohexane. Cyclohexane. But due to presence of the pi bonded system or carbon carbon double bond, it is called cyclohexene. Okay. This is the overall reaction of diehl solder reaction. It is a 1 4 addition reaction in which conjugated diene reacts with alkene or substituted alkene to yield a cyclic product containing 1 pi bonded system. Hence, it is called cycloaddition reaction. In this cycloaddition reaction, the product formed in this particular reaction containing only <coughs> one pi bond. Hence, it is called cyclohexene. Cyclohexene. What about this substituted alkene? <coughs> Generally, some of the alkenes can be substituted by any radical. So, in that particular case, the radicals are two types, electron withdrawing groups and electron donating groups. If this particular alkene contains electron donating group, this readily accepts the diene. So, its dienophilicity is more in presence of electron donating group. Now, the rate of reaction is very rapid, very rapid. In this particular case, the product is the radical substituted. What type of radical? Electron donating group containing radical. Electron donating group containing radical cyclic addict is going to be formed. Okay. So, this is the overall reaction of cycloaddition reaction or Diels-Alder reaction. Let us see the <coughs> mechanism of this particular reaction. Okay. Let us see the mechanism of this reaction. <coughs> so, what is this called? It is a conjugated diene. It is a conjugated diene. In this particular mechanism, it doesn't form 
any particular intermediate. It is a single step reaction. In this single step, when now it reacts with the substituted alkene, whenever it reacts with the substituted alkene, it is an electron donating group. That is why its electrophilicity is less than this particular carbon. Am I right? It is an electron donating group. Due to this electron donating group, the electrophilicity of this particular unsaturated carbon is very less when compared with the terminal unsaturated carbon. So that's why the bonded electrons are more dense towards to this particular carbon. In this particular case, whatever the five bonded electrons are there in the conjugated diene system, conjugated diene system those shifts to the electrophilic carbon of substituted alkene in which way whenever this carbon takes the pi electron system this carbon attains negative charge so in that particular case So, these pi bonded electrons are shifted to this carbon atom. So, it is, this is more electrophilic than this particular substituted carbon. It gives <coughs> CH2. CH, CH, this carbon attains negative charge, this carbon attains positive charge. So, the negatively charged carbon attacks on the carbon of alkene. Okay? So, this is the very unstable intermediate. Very unstable intermediate because conjugated diene exhibit one of the isomeric form or resonance canonical form that is to compensate this electropositivity. Yes or no? So, this is highly unstable form here. It converts to what is the charge here? Positive charge, sorry, negative charge. So, it really exhibits its stabilized canonical form or stabilized resonance hybrid. What is the charge here? Positive charge. So, whenever this carbon abstracts the bonded electrons, it attains negative charge. Here, what is the charge? CH2 positive that can make a bond with this carbon thereby the cyclic product is almost formed the cyclic product is almost formed this is also very very unstable product unstable intermediate it readily undergo the cyclization, almost cyclized, cyclized product is formed. So, whenever these two charges are formed, it readily makes the five bonded system that is called cyclohexene. Cyclohexene. In this cyclohexene, it is a radical substituted cyclohexene or substituted cyclohexene. Substituted cyclohexene. Substituted cyclohexene or simply you can write out here. Substituted 
cyclohexene. C. Actually, it is a single step. In this particular single step, the only the intermediate is the resonance canonical of conjugated diene containing two different charges. At one terminal carbon, positive charge. At another terminal carbon, negative charge. That readily reacts with the substituted alkene to form the cyclic product that is also called cyclic addict. This is also called the unsaturated form of cyclohexane. Unsaturated form of cyclohexane that is also called cyclohexane. This is substituted with one radical which is from the substituted alkene. Okay, so this is the Diels order reaction. In this particular case, here this particular alkene substituted or added at first and fourth carbon atom. Hence, it is called 1 4 addition reaction. This is 1 4 addition product. It is also called 1 4 addition product. It is also called 1 4 addict. This is also called addict. Okay. So, with this, the mechanism of Diels-Alder reaction is finished. Thank you.